We continue to stay on top of breaking news tonight. There are now presumptive positive cases of coronavirus on both sides of the state line. But the message tonight from state officials, don't panic, wash your hands. While these are the first cases for Missouri and Kansas, your risk of contracting COVID-19 is still extremely low. In Johnson County, Kansas, a woman under the age of 50 is now isolated in her home after contracting the virus while traveling. Meanwhile, we are also learning tonight a woman in her 20s is Missouri's first presumptive positive case. She had recently traveled to Italy and is also isolated at home. Presumptive positive means that a preliminary test has been done by local health officials, but the CDC has not come in and done their own test independently. We start our team coverage tonight with 41 Action News' Mackenzie Nelson, who joins us live in Johnson County. Mackenzie, you were at tonight's press conference asking questions really on the behalf of our viewers. What did they say? That's right, Gabriella. Now, the Johnson County Health Department did not share much information about the 50 year old woman in order to protect her identity. However, they did tell us that she recently traveled to the northeastern part of the United States, and that's where she began to experience symptoms. Now, as they are monitoring her, they do not want the community to panic. Right now, uh, we're doing everything possible to make sure that the public is safe. In a press conference, the Johnson County Health Department said the woman tested presumptive positive on Friday. That means they are only waiting on the CDC's confirmation, which is expected to come in the next few days. The health department said when symptoms began, this woman did everything right. When symptoms started, they used a mask and self-isolated. They notified their physician before going into the doctor's office so that they wouldn't infect other people. Right now, the health department says there is no evidence of widespread community transition in the Johnson County area or surrounding communities. The risk is low. We're, we're having this um, conference tonight to just get the information out so it's not people aren't filling it in with making stuff up that is is worse. The health department says the woman voluntarily self isolated in her own home and is being monitored. What we do then we have already started the disease investigation to identify other contacts of this individual and we will notify anyone that we identify as a close contact who could be at risk. While the investigation continues into this first case, the health department is reminding people to practice good hygiene. Use precautions again, wash your hands, stay home if you're sick. That means you're, you, yourself from work, your children from daycare, avoid anyone else that you know is sick. Now, the health department could not say whether or not this woman had any children, but we will keep you updated as soon as we learn information. Reporting live in Olathe tonight, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. Thank you, Mackenzie. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly says the state is well prepared to handle the coronavirus and they're working with health care providers across the state on a rapid and effective response. Let me say once again, no one should panic over this new virus or this confirmed case. Kansas still is considered at low risk for spread of the virus. Dr. Lee Norman is the head of the Kansas Department of Health. His message the general public can help by practicing proper hygiene. We predicted this. We've had a conversation together even within the last few days and said it's just a matter of time when there's community spread that's occurring. There's going to be more cases globally in Europe and the United States. And uh, here we are. So uh, not a great surprise. And uh, we're taking it all in stride. Now, Dr. Norman will join us live on set tomorrow morning during our 10 a.m. show right here on 41 Action News. And as we 